Okay, so remember at the beginning of this last chapter, I kind of gave you guys an overview of where we were going, all right? So we started with an alkyl halide over here, oops, over here, right? And that alkyl halide could react with this Y group. If that Y group was a nucleophile, we did this substitution reaction, right? And so that's what we've just learned about. Right? But this Y, if it has a non-bonding pair, it can also act as a base. All right? So it has this dual purpose. And if it acts as a base, what it's going to do is it's going to remove one of these protons right here. The way we would call these is usually the position where the functional group is attached is called the alpha position. And then the next carbon over would be called the beta position. So this actually has two beta positions, all right? And so in this reaction, this Y group is going to remove one of those beta protons. It's going to form the double bond, and it's going to lose that leaving group, all right? So this is also called, it's an elimination, no, that's the reverse. It's an elimination, but oftentimes it's called a beta elimination because it's losing a hydrogen from the beta position. All right, so that's going to be a requirement. So we have to have a proton on a carbon beta or adjacent to where the leaving group is. Okay? All right, so we're going to learn in eliminations uh, just to make things consistent, maybe not for just that reason, but we have two different mechanisms that we're going to learn about, okay? And they're going to have a lot of similarities to the SN1 and SN2. All right, so these are called E1 and E2. So E, what do you think E stands for? Elimination, right? And what about the 2? Bimolecular. Okay, so what do you think that means about the mechanism then? It's going to be concerted, right? And the rate determining step is going to involve both the substrate and the base, right? So this is going to be concerted, so the base is going to come in here and pull off one of the beta positions, right? This is alpha and this is beta, right? We have three beta positions on this um, molecule, so it doesn't matter, in this case, which one we do. All right, so it's going to pull off that proton. These electrons are going to come down and form the pi bond, and the leaving group is going to come off, all right? All takes place at the same time, all right? And so if we do that, we're going to end up with CH2 on the top, double bond, carbon, with then these two methyl groups, plus water, plus bromide. Okay? So because this is bimolecular, the rate, just like we saw for the substitution, is going to be some rate constant times the concentration of the alkyl halide times the concentration of the base. All right? So what happens in this reaction if we increase the amount of base then? Right. If we increase this... Because it's in the rate law, in the rate determining step, if we increase this, it will increase the rate. Okay? If we were going to look at a reaction coordinate diagram for this, right, if we had delta H, so enthalpy, this is reaction progress, how many steps would this have in it? So if we start with the alkyl halide, right, because it's concerted, it has one step, it's going to go over and it's going to go to a transition state, and then it's going to go to the alkene over here. 
right? Because this is essentially the reverse of the addition reaction. We know that this alkene is actually going to be a little higher energy than the starting alkyl bromide, right? So this, what is this called up on top? This is the transition state up there, okay? All right, so in one minute, let's just start this. So here's E1, so this is going to be unimolecular. So what's going to... Oh, that's L. What's going to be the first step in this reaction then? Carbocation formation. So the halogen's going to come off. Right, so this is going to form our carbocation. Put this one out here, H2, carbocation here, and then in the second step, water is going to act as a weak base, and it's going to pull this proton off and let the electrons go to the carbocation, and we're going to get the same type of product. All right, so let's, uh, we'll pick up here tomorrow um, and learn more about these things.